All right, so I'm gonna do something a little bit different with my YouTube channel. I am actually switching the main topic of it is from gaming. Um, obviously, I haven't uploaded any gaming videos in a while. I'm switching that to a more of a finance-based, uh, more just YOLO gambling <laughs> on certain cryptos kind of channel and stocks as well. I have a stock account. Um, as you can see here, this I have my um, this is my smart chain uh transaction uh, i'm gonna show you guys how i turned four hundred dollars back then this was like four hundred dollars um and now it'd be worth twenty two thousand but i didn't sell it at, at at the top i turned it into roughly thirteen thousand dollars in the period of less than a month um uh, saw it on tiktok um i threw some money in it and i just i just held and I got, I got lucky there's a bunch of other ones like safe mars and elon gate that i looked at i just I just like this one the most. All right, as you can see, there is currently 1.8 million holders, which is ridiculous. This is the biggest Binance Smart Chain project that there is out there right now. Um, if you're wondering if it's too late to get in, probably. I would stay the fuck away from this. Uh, here's why. Market cap, uh, it's not showed on here. Let me go to the website. Market cap is, let's see here, $4.2 billion. All right, you see, people get tricked by this price. They think it's cheap. It's not. It's already. It's if this was listed correctly on Coin Market Cap, it would be in the top 50. It would be a mid cap. So I would stay away. The highest this this can go probably. I could this could probably double again. I wouldn't see it doubling at, like going any higher than that. Um, go on Coin Market Cap actually. Uh, Coin Market Cap. Yeah, so you can see the market cap. If it was listed properly, which it's not, it would be roughly right around here somewhere in the 30s, 40s range. Um, oh, wrong page. Let me go back here. So I would, I just wouldn't invest in it. I'd say it's too late, unfortunately. If you can buy some and just hold, that's fine. Um, where is this? There's another one I want to talk about. Shiba, this is one that got listed on Binance and it is popping off. The cap is 12 billion. So if you want to look for like a, a maximum like ceiling for this, I'd say around where Shiba is right now. But that's if it, best case scenario get, it gets listed on Binance and, and KuCoin and stuff like that. But it's, I, I don't see that happening for a while. So I would just stay away. I just essentially, I got lucky. I was very early. That's the only way you could have made money on this is getting in very early. As you can see, there's a 1.8 million, I already said. I was probably one of the first 10,000 holders in this, but yeah, at the time, I mean, it seemed like a, sh a crappy investment, but uh, right now I sold uh, probably 95% of it. I'm currently holding about, let me see here. Actually, I sold all of it, actually. I just actually sold all of it. Let me go over to my, um, okay, so this is actually my pancake swap. Let me go back to my wallet. So yeah, I sold all of it, it's not in here. Um, $50 just in some, can we, what the, what the hell's happening? I don't know why it's not showing anything. That's kind of weird. It doesn't matter. I only have like $50 in there anyways. I'll just go back to my, my pancake swap. So if anybody wants to see a, a tutorial on how to do this, let me know in the comments. I, uh... So as of right now, I put most of my safe moon profit into the cake pool. Essentially, you stake the cake, you get interest. Right now, I have 305, which is total of like $11,600. Farms me, or whatever you want to call it, like between like 30 and $35 a day. And essentially, I just collect that. I'm going to do it right now, actually, for you guys. Collect, compound that, pay $1.26, which is actually up usually like a couple cents but also one thing i forgot to mention this rate here it does change but it changes very slowly compared to some other uh swapping sites like i got some pulled up here you see here like garuda uh swap finance which i'll get to shortly but yeah the rates on this let me go back i didn't even really show up that well but <laughs> let me see here Come on. 
Yeah, so the rates on this, they they, ch they change just a little bit, not too much. Uh, it, it usually stays between, like, it stays above, like, 88%. Uh, this thing's been up to 100% before, depending on volatility. But the more and more people get into it, the slower the rates get, unfortunately. Um, for the time being, though, it's it, it's been pretty consistent at 89%. It's been at this rate for the past week. So I'll probably do a video on this soon. Garuda swap. This is uh, up and coming AMM. Uh, if you don't know what th that is, you can just look it up. Um, basically, these liquidity pools are insanely high yields. It's not going to show it because I'm on the wrong chain. All right, let's see here. So as you can see, I put some money in it uh, like an hour ago. I probably put I put 414 Garuda at let's see here. It's a dollar 16 right now. So that's roughly the price I got in. And you can see this APR is 3,500 percent a year. Uh, that's roughly 9.41 or 9.48 percent so that's pretty good uh i'm sure that rate that rate slowly goes down it has to go down they cannot sustain that the more users that come into it the, the rate has to go down but since this is up and coming and they want to get attract more users to their platform the rate the rates are extremely high um i also got a safer play here i put some in busd which is 1600 percent on a stable coin which is ridiculous that's another 4.3% a day. Um, I, I guarantee you that by the time I post this video, it's going to go down a lot more. Um, and yeah, there's a bunch. You also can do you can do cake on here as well. You can do ETH. A more in-depth video on how to do this. Um, this is very risky too, by the way. This can this website, as you can see, they don't have much liquidity. They have 3.5 million. I guess that's not terrible, but 1.4 million. That's that's still not the greatest. But there's a catch, there's a 4% deposit fee, so I, the second I deposited it, I lost like 40 bucks. This one is no deposit fee, so you're probably better off doing this, but the price of this can move a lot. Um, staple coins, they don't move obviously, so it's, it's a little more safe, but you pay more in fees, and you get less return, essentially. And they pay you out in Garuda, which is their, their uh, coin they're trying to pump, essentially, trying to get stable. Um, so they've been stable at this price for, for Let's say like a day now. Um, when they first, when this first came out, the price was like six dollars, dropped down to like fifty cents. Now we're stabling out around one, one twenty. Um, and yeah, that's it. This is just an intro video. I'm gonna go. I'm definitely gonna do another video on this. But for now, that's all I'm gonna do. Uh, if you guys have any recommendations and any improvements I can do, let me know. Uh, I'm new to this. I haven't posted in forever, obviously. Uh, so yeah, that's it.